Well, 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 what do you know? It is April, and the Saints, who everybody, all the pundits, just had so much to say. Nick Wright, all those guys had so much to say about the salary cap situation. Hmm, what do you know? Here we are, April. And the Saints have $14 million, $14.6 million to be exact, which is good enough for 12th most cap space in the NFL. Mind you, just a month ago, a couple months ago, they were $55 million over the cap. And, you know, Saints fans know, and smarter fans know, that's just how the Saints operate. It's just the way they do things. They work on restructures, you know, kicking the cap kicking the can down the road even though you know the road is never ending due to the um you know the the salary cap increasing every year the only reason that we've had struggles recently is because of you know the pandemic you know without the once in a lifetime global pandemic you know saints would have been fine and likely would have been able to keep a player or two that they had to get rid of within the last couple of years but like I was saying, you know, fourteen, you know, point six million dollars in cap space right now. That leaves us plenty to sign our draft class, and you know, mind you, we signed our franchise quarterback to a pretty big deal. Signed our, you know, presumable starting running back while Kamara suspended if he gets suspended, who, mind you, was the leading touchdown scorer last year for running backs. I mean, that's two two pretty big signings if you ask me. Not to mention we was able to restructure Mike Thomas's deal to keep him on the team, keep him around another year. Restructured Tyron Matthew, Cam Jordan, Demario Davis, Marshall Lyle, all these guys restructured their contracts with the Saints. And, you know, that's just how the Saints do business. Um, but, you know, this time next year, well, you know, this time, you know, like February, March next year, we'll be hearing the same thing. Oh, my God, the Saints are $100 million over the cap. What are they going to do? The way they run it, it isn't working. They're eventually going to have to pay. They're eventually going to have to pay. Why not just rebuild? Nobody wants... Who wants to watch a team in rebuild mode? Nobody wants to watch that. First of all, it's boring, and it makes for a bad product. So, I mean, you know, I have no... And you notice, like, other teams are starting to kind of look at what the Saints are doing, and little by little, they're falling fallen in line with what the Saints are doing. The Patriots did some of it. The Vikings have been doing some of it recently. So, yeah, I guess, you know, the Saints, you could call them trendsetters, if you will. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about, man. $14 million in cap. Plenty of money. We can do what we want right now. I mean, 12th in the NFL from $55 million over to plus $14.6 That's crazy. Mickey Loomis, Kai Harley, keep doing your thing, gentlemen.